Welcome everybody to another episode of John's Demo Room. I'm John with IBAT and today we're going to be taking a look at a device from Synaptic. So this is the Synaptic Mag and Read tablet. Um, what it is essentially it's an Android tablet but they've designed a complete overlay over the Android user interface to make it much 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 more user friendly for somebody with low vision. And they've added a whole bunch of really awesome features like they've turned it into a magnifier. It can also OCR and read to you uh, as insinuated by the name. So Rather than me uh, talking too much about it, let's go ahead and dive down. We'll open up the box, see what's in there, and we'll take a look at the device and see how it works. All right, so here we are up close with the Synaptic tablet inside the box. So there really isn't much to see on the box. So let's go ahead and just break it right open. Slide out our tablet here. I'll set over to the side. Get our tablet. There's our tablet inside the sleeve right there. I'm going to set that over there for just a second. I just want to show you also you do get um, a power cord and a little power brick for charging your tablet inside the box as well. So I'll set that over here and let's get out our tablet. There we go. Slide it out at us here. Here we are. Let's go ahead and turn it on. On the side here, we have a little unlock button or power button volume. On the top, you have a little charging. Uh, there's where your charger plugs in, headphone jack, little mic. On the bottom, we have some speakers and we have a back button and a home button for our Android buttons there. So let's go ahead and turn this eye guy on. So here we go. Here is our Synaptic tablet and our Synaptic user interface. So as you can see, it's made everything really nice, large print, high contrast or colorful, um, and it's just simplified the user interface um, quite significantly. So let's just take a quick look through the main menu here and see some of the things that you can do and then we'll go more in depth into some of these as well. So you have Skype for making and uh, make, taking and receiving uh, calls or video calls, emails, um, address book for your managing your contacts, calendar for you know scheduling things, alarm clock for setting Eight alarms. Um, you have voice memos so you can take and save voice memos, a notepad for taking notes, Voice control, it's kind of like a, a, you know, like a very, very, very basic version of like Siri or something like that. Like a, you can, you know, ask it to like open up something or send a, you know, be like send email to, you know, this contact or something like that. A uh, camera so you can take pictures. Toolbox. Toolbox. Menu, page one of two. Inside here you can find things like your magnifier, your uh, OCR reader, a color identifier, identifier, weather, things like that. Okay, we'll come back to that in a bit four. here. So let's go down. And so for navigation, you simply press up to continue on up to the next part of the menu, or you press the down arrow to continue down, and you hit this red X to go back. It's just really, really simple. So you have some entertainment options here as well, like music, radio, and TV, social media, you have YouTube and Facebook on there, a uh, web browser for surfing, surfing the web, some tablet info, you can get like your battery life and signal and change your date and time and stuff like that on there. Some tablet settings, and this that in the settings is where you customize the user interface. We'll go back to that in a minute. Going down again, we have help, and this is where you can find your user manual and some videos. And we can also exit to Android if you want. So one of the neat things about this is you don't have to stay in the Synaptic software if you, if you don't want to. Um, you can actually exit out to Android and use like a normal Android device. So um, it will, you'll notice here in just a second, it popped this back out, or popped the Synaptic back up in. Um, but what you can do is like if this is a family tablet or something like that, um, you can make it so that uh, Synaptic auto launches when you turn the tablet on or you can turn that feature off as well. So that way, you know, like, you know, if the kids or something want to use it um, and then you grab it and you need the Synaptic or something like that, you can just turn it on as needed or you can have it uh, auto out, auto turn on for you. And then if you want to get out to Android, you can simply exit to Android right there. It also does have an app launcher in it so that you can launch all the app, uh, Android apps on your device without ever having to completely exit out to Android and find a different app. And I'll show you that as well. So let's go ahead and go back here. We'll go up to the top of our main menu and we'll just take a quick look at some of these different things real quick. So we can take a look at the address book real quick. Let's, let's see what it looks like to view a contact. There's our contact right there. And you'll notice it talks all the time. Um, you can turn that off if you'd like. Um, so you can use it with speech or without speech. Uh, you can also customize the interface too. Um, so we'll go down and we'll do that real quick. So we'll go ahead and go down. We're going to go to settings. And this is where you would set it up. So first of all, we can change our color scheme here if we want to. So right now it's yellow on black. But we could do black on yellow, white on black, black on white. There's a whole bunch of different color scheme options here to fit whatever's best for you. So I'm going to try uh, white on black. There we go. And you'll notice it changed all of our text to white on black. We can also change our icon color. Icons, page 
So we can have it so that all the icons are colorful like we do. We can also do normal, which is um, it's some different colorful icons, essentially. And we can also do high contrast icons, which I really like. It does a, it mimics your high contrast mode that you have set. So if we change like, to like yellow and black again, like that, it would uh, reflect whatever high contrast scheme you have. We can also adjust our zoom level here. So if we want to make this anything on here larger or smaller, we can do that. Right now I'm on zoom level six, so let's try zoom level eight. There you go, everything is much larger now. I'm gonna back this back out to about six here. That's good for me. We can change our text size too. If the text is not large enough, we could just enlarge that as well. We can change our font. We can customize our menu. So uh, the menu kind of comes with a default layout, but if there's like an option that you want higher up on the menu or you want to adjust the menu, maybe you want to use the voice control to launch most of your apps, you could make that the first thing on the top of the menu if you wanted to. You can actually customize that there. You can change your brightness there. Um, you, you know, disconnect or connect to Wi-Fi. Um, control your sound, the sounds the device makes, or the speech feedback, how much verbosity there is. In other words, how much information is spoken to you. Um, you can also Tablet adjust the menu order options. Um, you can have it keep things on screen. Uh, auto rotate for you if you want to. So like if you're typing, you can rotate it to get a bigger keyboard. Um, you can choose a lock screen. Um, you can adjust some keyboard settings and have a synaptic auto start if you want to. So let's go ahead and go back here. Go back again. Let's take a look at typing a note so you can see what that looks like. Let me create a new note. So it gives you this nice big on-screen uh, keyboard here so you can type with, and it does work really nicely. You know, you can, I can actually type really fast and really nicely. It's big and high contrast. You can switch over to numbers if you want to. Again, you can switch into landscape too, and it makes the keyboard a little larger, a little easier to get out there too. We can save that note if we want to, or exit. Do you want to discard the changes? Do you want? Yes. I'll go back out here. We can take some voice memos. Let's take a picture real quick with the camera. So we can use the camera. We can view our photos, search through photos, rename or edit photos, email them or delete photos if we want to. So let's go ahead and do use the camera. I'm gonna point it up here. We'll take a picture of the girl on, my, on the background here. There we go, and it tells us picture taken. And so we can exit out, oops. There we go, let's go to view our photos. There's the photo I just taken, so I can look through my other photos if I want to. Let's go ahead and, I don't need this photo anymore, so we'll go ahead and delete that and press okay. Just like that. Okay, now let's back out here. All right, now let's go take a look at some of these other toolbox options, like the magnifier. So we can use magnifier. We can also save things like, you know, screen captures and stuff like that, delete them, rename them. So I got a little local newspaper thing right here. So let's go ahead and test out the magnifier on this. Just like that. So um, they're going to add pinch and zoom pretty soon, but right now you can use the volume up or the volume down to increase or decrease your zoom level. And just like, oh, let's go ahead and zoom in a little more. Zoom level six. There we go. Does a pretty nice job for a tablet magnifier. Does a really good job of the magnifier. Back out a little bit. Uh, on the bottom here, you can do things like change your color modes, uh, turn on and off a light if your tablet has a light, freeze frame it if you want to, uh, and snap a picture and save it once it's freeze frame. Let's go ahead and. Um, Go ahead and back out here and we'll try out OCRing and reading. We'll do normal mode, but we can also have a column specific mode too. Until like that. Processing image. Please wait. So it's processing the image I took. Please wait. Multiple pages. By Carol Rosen Boomer and senior news Jeffrey Kelly is a teacher, Chinese medical practitioner, and martial arts specialist who, at the ripe age of 14, became interested. So as you can see, it was machine. it was Selected really option. it was really quick and it was really accurate too. It did a really nice job of OCRing this little you know newspaper clip I had here. Um, there's also a few accessories that you can get with this guy too, um, which uh, I'd like to show you real quick. So for example, there's this stand that you can get. And this is a little stand. And so not only does it hold the tablet in here for you, which I'll stick it in there real quick and show you. There we go. So you can have your tablet hold held in there like that. And it has a little arm and a swivel so you can move it around. You can make it go up or down. But one of the things you can do is, let me go up real quick. 
turn this over like that. And then we can put whatever we want underneath on here and it helps OCR, like you can use OCR quite a bit at one time using the stand. So you can use it like that or you can just use it to hold your, um, your tablet device while you're using it, just like this. So I'll set that back just a little bit. Back out just a little bit. Let's take a look at some of the other things we got on this menu real quick. So um, we actually, we have weather here. We can take a look at our weather. I'm in Corvallis and I set that up already. Take a look at the current weather or a seven day forecast. There we go. And we can even click on a day and it'll show us hourly as well, which is really nice. As you can see, Corvallis is going to be a little rainy, it looks like this week. Well, that's pretty typical for Oregon, so I'm not too worried about it, but anyway, let's go ahead and look at some of the other things. We also have this app launcher here, and this is where you can get to all the other apps in the Android operating system. So let's say, for example, I want to go to this Google app. I can open and launch the Google app, and it launches it for me. Um, and then I can use Google, or if I'm once I'm done with the app, all I have to do is press the back button on Android, and it takes me directly back into Synaptic. So I don't have to go out and use like the normal Android interface without, you know, that doesn't have any magnification or may or may not have speech and things like that. I can actually just launch all the apps I'd want to use, or even use the Google Play Store to download other apps. And all the apps on my Android device will show up here, so that way I can use whatever app I want and then get directly back into Synaptic. So that's a really handy feature. Um, it has things like a, a flashlight, a calculator, a compass, and also a little level. You can set your you know, tablet on something and it will tell you if it's level. It's not the best level in the world, but it does the trick if you, in a pinch. So there are a couple other accessories I want to show you too. So there's some wire, wire, wireless Bluetooth keyboards that you can get with this. So this one is a high contrast white on black. Um, so I'll set that right there. We also have a few other colors. It's all the same keyboard. They're just in different high contrast colors. So this one's black on yellow. See what else we have here. We have a nice uh, black on white one. And we also have yellow on black too. So you can get a variety of different keyboards to go with this and then you can actually control your tablet using the keyboard. So let me make sure I have this on. I do, let's see, am I connected? There we go. So you can press escape to go back. You can use up and down arrows to navigate through here just like this. Um, or, and you can press escape to go back and you can press enter to select an item. So Calendar let's say we want to go back in, um, we'll go down to notes and create a, create a new note here. So let's type something. That's actually really nice. And I actually like this keyboard a lot. Um, it's really comfortable to use. It looks like it doesn't look very big and it's got a nice form factor, but the keys are actually nice and spread out and it's comfortable to use and easy to type on. And uh, the cool thing is you can also control your entire tablet with it as well. So um, also using this, uh, using this stand like this, you could turn your tablet like this using the magnifier and uh, you can do a little bit of distance viewing as well. So if you want to look at something across the room or a white, you know, at school or something like that, you can do that. That's also really, really handy. Of course, you could hold it and do that as well. Um, but the uh, stand is a nice accessory for doing that too. So let's go ahead and back up here. And um, let me see, I don't think there's anything else to show. Oh, there is a couple other things I do want to show you real quick. Um, go to settings here, go down. Um, so we have these menu um, operation options here. And so you can have it so when you select something with like, you know, you just tap on it, it opens it right up. You could also make it so that you have to double tap something. So if I tap on it, it just reads it aloud. And then I'd have to double tap on it to open it. Just like that. So that way, if you're if, if someone who's blind or severely visually impaired could actually just use their finger and drag it along like this. And then when they find the option they want, they can just double tap and open it up just like that. So let's go ahead and go back here. And you can also do a long press. So if you don't want it to, you know, in case you like accidentally bump something, it goes back or opens it or something like that. You could do a long press. So you actually have to hold it for a second. Anyway, so there's a few different options here to make this really good. So we'll choose single tap because that's what I've been using. 
And again, also in sounds here, we can turn the voice on or off. So if you just want to use just the low vision interface, you don't need the speech assistance, you can shut that off. You can adjust the reading speed and also the volume and the verbosity again. So how much information is given to you. So if you don't want it to speak quite as much information, you can do that. Um, there's also one other keyboard, uh, on-screen keyboard thing I wanted to show you real quick. Go to the notepad here. As you're typing on a note, um, you can actually press and hold on the keys and it won't actually type it until you let go and it shows you a larger print version of it here. So let's say I want to do T, you know, I could do E, S, you know, like that. And then there's also some um, arrows on the side of my window here with my text that I can use for navigating around so I can move my cursor with these just like that or I can jump to the beginning or end with the top cursors. This also has really nice dictation too so I'll move up here there's a little microphone icon up here and if I select that I can actually speak so let's say so I press speak this is a test note I press stop I'm done there you go just like that uh, you can delete that if you want to. So if like maybe the speech recognition didn't pick it up, you can delete. click delete and it will delete note. just the last thing that you spoke, the last spoken edition, um, just like that. So let's say this is another test note. This is another test. This is another test. So we can have it repeat back to us so we can have it read back what it just read. This is another test. And it will, it will read the last thing that um, we dictated in or we can delete and you'll see that it won't delete everything. It will just delete the last edition I made uh, using dictation. Deleted. This is another test. Just like that. So you can actually dictate to this or type on it or type with a keyboard. Um, it gives you a whole bunch of different options, which is really, really nice. And it does a beautiful job of it as well. So anyway, it is a really cool, uh, nice little tablet here uh, that makes just using Android so much simpler, so much easier uh, with a nice, elegant, uh, easy to use user interface. Um, that just makes it a whole lot more manageable, especially if you have uh, low vision. So, all right, well, let's go ahead and back out to FaceTime. All right, everybody, that does it for the Synaptic Mag and Read tablet today. Thank you very much for watching. As you can see, there's a lot more to it than just, it's not just a magnifier or reader. It's actually a whole interface that makes Android so much more user-friendly uh, to people with low vision. So if you would like more information on the Synaptic tablet, make sure to visit us at www.iree-at.com. And uh, as always, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.